Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Emily. I look like a butt right now because I literally just got back from Disney today. We had a two day car ride journey. I got back like a few hours ago, so I'm exhausted. I look exhausted. My hair's a mess, hence the figment ears. And yeah, so I'm gonna do a really, really quick haul for you guys. I didn't buy too much stuff as I normally buy. A lot of pins really bad on the pins this trip um but yeah i'll get started with that and i also have some vlogs i don't know if this is gonna go up before the vlogs or after the vlogs we're just gonna have to play it by ear and see so we're gonna get started i'm going to start with things that i got from mickey's treasure so these are the damaged merchandise that only cast members can purchase and go into the separate part of cast connections all right so not too much from there i feel like they raised the prices a little bit on certain items because Ears were usually super, super cheap, but they were $5 each for the headbands, which I thought was kind of expensive. I don't know if it was just me, but I was like, ooh. But I did find these Jack ones. They're like the dapper Jack Skellington ears. Don't know what was wrong with them. The tag is there. Everything's there. I just don't know what was wrong with them. They seem perfectly fine to me. There's a little Jack. No clue, but I love these. I never really wanted to actually buy them. I just I really like them I just never liked the idea of actually buying them full price they weren't something I would spend full price on so I was glad I found these there was just this pair there so I snatched those as quick as I could and I got those I only got one ornament this trip the last trip was the ornament crazy chip trip trip but I did get this Ariel one if it wants to focus I did get this Ariel one she is in her little green dress that's supposed to be pink but we don't talk about it and Ariel's my favorite princess. Her and Elsa are my two favorites. So I wanted to get one of her. The only thing that's wrong with her is I think she's just missing a finger. If it wants to focus on her, it's not going to. Is it? Nope, it's not going to. But like right there, she's missing a little finger. But yeah, so I got her. She was like $3, I think. So she's really cute. And then I also got two pins. The pins were, I think, a dollar each. So that's not too bad. Um, I got this Pirate's Life one. It says hooked on a Pirate's Life. It's kind of like scuffy on there. It's like a little sticky and I think that's what was wrong with it, but I liked it a lot. And I also got this little Winnie the Pooh one because it's so cute. I don't know. I, I just, I just loved it. Also, don't know what was wrong with this Winnie the Pooh one. I have a feeling it's something with the back. Oh, the back is a little bent. That's probably why. You can barely tell, but it is. That's probably why it was there, but I really like these two little pins. And then the last thing I got, I know not too much, but I did get this hoodie and it looks like this. It has a little Mickey on the front and then on the back, it has this Walt Disney World little print. Um, I have a matching tank top that I also got from Cast Connections last trip in April. And I just needed more Disney hoodies. I have a ton of sweatshirts, but I, have, I don't have any hoodies. So I just have like one. So I got this and I don't know what was wrong with it either. There wasn't a tag on it. So that could be a reason why it was there. Also the like string on the shirt is kind of messed up. So that could be a reason too. But other than that, it's perfectly fine. It's super duper soft, like all Disney sweatshirts are. So yeah, that's everything I got from Mickey's Treasures. Now I'm gonna show some of the things I got from Character Warehouse, which is kind of like a Cast Connections, but also Cast Connections stuff as well. So kind of like the same types of things again not too much stuff this time around i'm kind of proud of myself actually first thing i got is something i actually did not want to buy but when i saw it in person i thought it was too cute to pass up and it is this figment doll and you can see back here i already have one in the little chef costume but he is a little bit tinier i think and he's not as fluffy so the one i have back there is from 2015 from my college program he's from 2017's food and wine and he's holding a frying pan the one i have already has a spoon and he just looks more cartoony he has like the little handkerchief is what really got me i don't know why but i just think he looks a lot cuter and he was only 10 bucks so i couldn't pass him up and obviously i love figment so i couldn't i couldn't leave him there even though there were like tons of him i just couldn't leave this one there for some reason, they had a ton of stuff from the grand opening of Shanghai Disney. I'm not complaining, but it was just kind of interesting. So I got a pretty good amount of Shanghai stuff. This little Mickey Mouse was 99 cents, if you can see right there. Yeah, he's 99 cents. I don't think he's a magnet. He's just like a little guy. He's not a keychain either. 
He's just like a little Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and he's super cute. And then I also got from Shanghai, I had these all over my backpack and I always wanted a kind of keychain like these guys because they're straight from Tokyo or Shanghai obviously. But I got all of these keychains. I got Donald and Daisy and then I also got Chip and Dale. These were the only styles they had so I got all the styles that they had. Um, I love them a lot and like it's popular in Japan to like have like as much like Disney stuff as possible on you like as much like tacky Disney stuff on you so like I stuck all these onto my backpack and I was living for it I loved it so much these guys are so cute and they're in like little outfits and I'm obsessed <laughs> and then I also got some pins obviously because I was on a pin kick this trip the first one I got is a Mary Poppins pin that says April on it this one was $1.99 I believe and they had pretty much a lot of the birthstone pins there not all of them but a good amount of them and then I also got these from the pin quest um, these were $1.99 as well I got a Br'er Rabbit pin kind of hard to see but then I also got a Big Al pin because I am low-key obsessed with Big Al so I had to get these two because these two were some of my favorite ones there was a stitch one as well but I didn't really want stitch I have enough stitch and then I also got for $1.99 too this little Poe and BB-8 pin I love it so much it's so cute it's just adorable I love it and so I got those and then the rest of the stuff I got is all just full price items. Um, not too much like I said, so I will show you. You can kind of get a sneak peek over there of my full price items. So I wanted an Instagram giveaway and I got the prizes when I got home and I wanted to show you the prizes because they're super duper cute. Um, the Instagram accounts are these ones right here. Donna period 415, so this is Love Designs, and Purple Dragon Fabrics if you want to check them out. This stuff is so cute, oh my gosh. So I won, it's all like Disney snack themed. This is washi tape. I got this adorable Dull Whip pin. I really wish I had this for my trip because I would have worn that. Oh my God, everyone would have loved that. I got this little Dull Whip magnet. And then I got this little, I think it's like an like a, a letter or like a postcard or something with a, a little Mickey Mouse pretzel on it and a drink. And then I got these two sticker packages, like these sticker sheets so cute i'm screaming but i actually am using one of the things i got right now it is this little id holder case and it has like all the little snacks on it and i'm using it for my cast id and my main gate passes so those are right here and i love it i love it and then i also met one of the lost bros cody and i saw him at flower and garden and i went up to say hi to him because i purchased two shirts from him one was for my dad the drink around the world one and then i also purchased the welcome foolish mortals one in the stranger things font and i love their shirt so much they're so soft and comfortable so i went up to say hi to him and he actually gave me and my friends these uh drink around the world all access passes with all the um countries on the back and it's really really cool i'm definitely going to use this on my next trip we actually saw him on my last day there so I'm gonna use this next time for sure and it's so cool so like if you see other people that you know go say hi to them just because it's nice but also like they would have little surprises for you which is really cool and the last person that we saw was Ben who does the Frozen show he's one of the historians he's friends with Eric and he is hilarious we saw him twice and if you do go see him and he's there he always posts his show times on his instagram so if you see him and he's doing one of the later shows i highly recommend the last show of the day which is the 7 30 show because they're like more excited like i feel like it's kind of like the friday of the show like they're so happy to kind of like be done so they're gonna bring all their energy out to that show and it's the funniest so i highly recommend that one it was hilarious i was peeing my pants he's hilarious they actually redid the mint packs so i got one of those there were two different designs i believe the other one had space mount on it and something else but none of them had honda mansion on it i only got this one because minnie's holding the dough whip so obviously i have to get that one but i was kind of disappointed in that but i really like the new look of this type of merchandise I thought it was really cute, but no Haunted Mansion, so whatever. But I did get a couple Haunted Mansion things. My first night there, I purchased this postcard set, and postcards are normally $4.95 each, so if you get, there's a four pack in here, so they're $5 each, but I paid $15 for this, so basically one was free, and it has all of these on here. It has like Hatbox Ghost on it, the outside of it, the dueling guys, and it just, I... 
I loved it. I liked the art style of it, so I'm going to hang those up. And then I also got this little postcard for $4.99, which has all the little scenes from Haunted Mansion on it. Like, literally, every single scene and, like, every single animatronic is in this. And I love it so much. I wish I could buy the bigger version because... It is so cute, but I honestly have no space at all in my room. I actually got this from one of my friends, Nicole. This like screams me and I need a frame for it, but like my two favorite things are Figment and the Haunted Mansion. So like, I, uh, I'm screaming. I got that. And then we also stayed at All Star Sports and All Star Music. We added an extra night and we got one of the room occupied signs. So I totally took one of these with their permission but yeah I really liked how it looked cute and I also got this little sticker pack for $9.99 $10 plus a cast discount you know how I do so I got this and it's kind of like these are the actual size of the stickers I'm not gonna take them out because they're annoying to take out but it has like all of the stuff Haunted Mansion all of these and there's two of each one there's 50 total of them so I'm gonna stick these on my iPad case I got a new iPad case so I thought those would look cute on there the next thing I have is something I purchased a while ago my friend Christine just gave it to me on this trip but I did purchase it a while ago it was from company B and I wore it the the first day that we were at Epcot. It is this Epcot 35th shirt that has the Dreamfinder and Figment on it, like old school, old school. I did wear it and I haven't washed it, so I need, it's like a little wrinkly, I'm sorry. But on the back it says like cast member exclusive and I love anything old school Epcot. You are going to see that. <laughs> but I am a sucker for all things Epcot. I love Epcot so much. It's my favorite park. And I love retro types of things. And I feel like retro is coming back with Disney. So that's great. But yeah, I love that shirt so much. And it's super comfy. And it's so cute. And I love it. But next, I only bought one Tsum Tsum my entire trip. And it's one that I was so excited to get that I'm gonna wait until once Character Warehouse gets the whole set to buy the whole set. But it's the Dapper Dan one. And I got Donald. I'm on a Donald. Well, I should say, I'm more on a duck kick right now. I love anything with the ducks on it. Three Caballeros, Duck Tails, Darkwing Duck, Donald Duck. I don't know what's going on, but I am a huge duck fan right now. So I got Donald first. And I just, I I don't know what's going on, but I love him. He's cute. I love the Dapper Dans. I'm going to have to get the whole set. And I also need to get the Tomorrowland ones. I didn't get any of those either. And then next thing I got was a last minute. I need this decision because I saw it last minute on our way out of Epcot when we stopped at Starbucks. And it's one of the ceramic reusable Starbucks mugs. But on the back, like I said, old school Epcot. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I love it so much. I just, ugh, I don't even want to use it because I love it so much, but I'm going to. So it's the Epcot Cup. I know each park has their own. I haven't really looked that detailed into them, so I don't know what the other ones look like. The Epcot one, I took a quicker glance at and like a more better glance because Epcot's my favorite park. And first thing I saw was Figment and I'm like, okay, that's cute, whatever. And then I saw like they have Body Wars on here. They have Horizons. They have the old living seas before Nemo. Mission Space is on here. They have food rocks on here. There's a little broccoli. I remember food rocks. <laughs> and then they have the Dreamfinder sticking out right over there. The monorail. I just, universe of energy, like all the old school Epcot stuff. And I just love it so much. And it's so cute. And I'm just gonna bring this with me wherever I go. And I hopefully won't break it because this was a little bit expensive. This was like $20 at my discount. So it's a little bit pricey for a mug, but I I loved it. I love it. And it's so cute. For pins. Pins I went a little crazy with, like I said. Like I said also, I'm on a duck kick. So the very first pin that I bought was this Darkwing Duck pin. And he was $10. I'm on a duck kick. What can I say? I'm on a duck kick. So I bought him. I'm on a, I, I'm just, I don't know. And then my sister is obsessed with Star Wars. She's like more obsessed with Star Wars than I am. She loves Kylo Ren. So she bought the Star Wars Last Jedi blind bag pin packs and she just wanted Finn and Kylo. Luckily she got both, but then she got doubles. So she gave me Finn and then she also gave me Rose. So I got the two of them. They're pretty big pins as well. They're pretty big. So I have these two guys and then the kingdom of cute pins really really screwed me over this trip can i just tell you because i started getting these guys in august my last trip all i wanted 
was just the Dole Whip and the Gargoyle. Obviously, my two favorite things. I love Dole Whips and I love the Haunted Mansion, so I just wanted those two. The first three packs that I bought all had a Dole Whip in it and then something else. So, it's been half a year. My sister bought me one for Christmas. I got a Dole Whip. I've gotten all of them. I've gotten all of them. And then, the last day of my trip, I'm like, we're just gonna buy one more. And I got the Gargoyle. And the cast member that I bought this from got a cast compliment because she was above and beyond amazing to make sure I got that Gargoyle. So she was really nice. And I just, so now I have all of them. I ended up getting all of them. I have all of them now. So we have every single one of these guys. I'm not gonna show you all of them. I'm just gonna show you the ones I have right out, out in front of me. But <laughs> I'm so happy to be done with this set. I didn't even mean to get the whole set. But now I have the whole set. So the last and final thing was something that I wanted before my trip even started. I saw a lot of Instagrammers with this and I don't have, I personally don't think I have enough items, clothing, purses, hats, stuffed animals, yes, but other things with this character and it's honestly probably my top 10, top 8, maybe even top 5 favorite characters. So, I did splurge a little bit. The most expensive item I got, it was only $48 anyway, so it wasn't like that big of a splurge. But it was this little thumper purse. And if you don't know, bunnies are my favorite animals. Bunnies and Shiba Inus are my two favorite animals. So, I had to get this purse because his ears are sticking up. He has this little cotton tail on the back. And I just love it. And it's a pretty decent sized purse. Like I needed one this size because like my other Dooney and Burke ones I feel like are either too small or too big. So this is like a good in between and it's one that isn't super duper expensive. This is one of those lounge fly ones or Disney boutique one lounge fly ones. I don't know. But it was only $48 with my discount. It's $60 total. And I just love him. I think he's so cute, look at me. Um, but yeah, I, I personally don't think I own enough Thumper stuff and I'd rather get something that is something I don't have a lot of, like character-wise, bag-wise, I guess, because I could have easily bought another Haunted Mansion purse or something with Figment on it, but I wanted to get something with Thumper on it and I've seen other people carry him around and I just needed it and so we got him. His little ears, I can't. So, obviously, not too much stuff in my opinion at least maybe for you guys you might think well it's a lot but in my opinion not too much stuff one i didn't come with too much money in my wallet for this trip i know like a lot of the stuff was cheap like cast connections most of the stuff was cast connections mickey's treasures and so it's not all super expensive stuff and then two i didn't have a lot of space in my luggage either we we're just traveling with another friend so i didn't want to take over with all my souvenirs so yeah, um, but yeah, I got these guys and not too much from Memento Mori. There was a lot of things that it was brand new, but nothing that really screamed out to me. Maybe next time I go, I'll buy them. But yeah, I, I just was really excited for this. And so I definitely bought this right away. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope to get the vlogs up soon or if the vlogs are already up. Hope you enjoyed them. I personally love them a lot. I think they're hilarious. I think I'm hilarious. So I don't know. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great week and a magical day. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.